Nobina Prayer Offering O oh my God, we offer Thee all our actions of this day for the intentions and for the glory of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. We desire to sanctify every beat of our hearts, our every thought, our simplest works, by uniting them to its infinite merits, and we wish to make reparation for our sins by casting them into the furnace of its merciful love. O oh my God, we ask Thee for ourselves and for those whom we hold dear, the grace to fulfill perfectly Thy holy will, to accept or love of Thee the joys and sorrows of this passing life, so that we may be one day be united together in heaven for all eternity. Amen. Amen. Prayer to our God. O Lord, who hast said, Unless you become a little, little children, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. Grant us, we beseech thee, so to follow in the footsteps of the Virgin, Saint Therese, in humility and simplicity of heart, that we may attain our eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for love. O God, who didst inflame with thy spirit of love the soul of Saint Therese of the child Jesus, Grant that we may also love thee and make thee much loved. Amen. Amen. Special prayer for the fifth day. O Lord Jesus Christ, who didst give Saint Therese a clear understanding of thy great commandment, fill us with thy love, that following her example, we may love our brethren according to thy will. Amen. Nabina prayer to Saint Therese. O Saint Therese of the child Jesus, who during the short life on earth, didst become a mirror of angelic purity, of love, and strong as death, and of wholehearted abandonment to God. Not that thou, thou, thou rejoices in the reward of thy virtues, cast a glance of pity on us as we leave all things in thy hands. O Saint Therese, make our troubles thine own. Speak a word for us to our Lady Immaculate, whose flower of special love thou were, to that Queen of Heaven who smiled on thee at the dawn of life. Beg the Blessed Virgin Mary, as Queen of the Heart of Jesus, to obtain for us by her powerful intercession the grace which you ask of God through thy intercession. And that she join with it a blessing that may strengthen us during life, defend us at the hour of death, and lead us to straight on to a happy eternity. Amen. The interest of the child Jesus, pray for us, ask the blessing of God on us, and grant that we may obtain the grace we ask this moment for His greater glory and the salvation of our souls. Amen. Amen. Litany to Saint Therese of the Child Jesus and the Holy Face and the Little Flower of Jesus. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the Father in heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. Saint Therese, servant of God, pray for us. Saint Therese, victim of the merciful love of God, pray for us. Saint Therese, spouse of Jesus, pray for us. Saint Therese, gift of heaven, pray for us. Saint Therese, remarkable in childhood, pray for us. Saint Therese, an example of obedience, pray for us. Saint Therese, resigned to the divine will of God, pray for us. Saint Therese, lover of peace, pray for us. Saint Therese, lover of patience, pray for us. Saint Therese, lover of gentleness, pray for us. Saint Therese, Heroic in sacrifice. Pray for us. Saint Therese, generous in forgiving. Pray for us. Saint Therese, benefactress of the needy. Pray for us. Saint Therese, lover of Jesus. Pray for us. Saint Therese, devoted to the holy face. Pray for us. Saint Therese, consumed with the divine love of God. Pray for us. Saint Therese, advocate of extreme cases. Pray for us. Saint Therese, persevering in prayer. Pray for us. Saint Therese, a powerful advocate with God. Pray for us. Saint Therese, showering roses. Pray for us. Saint Therese, doing good upon earth. Pray for us. Saint Therese, answering all prayers. Pray for us. Saint Therese, 
lover of holy chastity. Pray for us. Saint Therese, lover of voluntary poverty. Pray for us. Saint Therese, lover of obedience. Pray for us. Saint Therese, burning with zeal for God's glory. Pray for us. Saint Therese, inflamed with the spirit of love. Pray for us. Saint Therese, child of benediction. Pray for us. Saint Therese, perfect in simplicity. Pray for us. Saint Therese, so remarkable for trust in God. Pray for us. Saint Therese, never invoked without some answer. Pray for us. Saint Therese, teaching us the sure way. Pray for us. Saint Therese, victim of divine love. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Saint Therese, the little flower of Jesus. Pray for us. Prayer. O God, who didst inflame with thy spirit of love the soul of thy servant, the rest of the child Jesus, grant that we may also love thee and may seek thee and may make thee much loved. Amen. Amen. An act of oblation. In order that our life may be one act of perfect love, we offer ourselves as victims of Holocaust in thy merciful love, imploring thee to consume us without ceasing and to let the streams of infinite tenderness pent up in thee overflow into our souls so that we may become martyrs of thy love. O oh my God, may this martyrdom prepare us to appear before thee and free us from this life. May then my soul take its flight without delay into the everlasting embrace of thy merciful love. O oh my dearly beloved, we desire every beat of our heart to renew this offering an infinite number of times. Till the shadows retire and for all eternity, we can tell thee our love vase to face. Concluding prayer. O little flower of Jesus, Saint Therese, we humbly beseech thee to pray for us that Jesus may draw us also into the flames of his love and unite us so closely to himself that he alone may live and reign in our hearts and that with utmost care we may avoid everything that is displeasing to him so that being ever ready to suffer all and to lose all rather than God's holy love we may love him in preference to all things and esteem ourselves of infinitely less consideration than him preserve us always in this love which will make us do all things for him, that we may have happiness of dying in his holy love and continue to love him forever. Amen. Amen. Love one another as I have loved you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O Saint Therese, bless the missions and the missionaries. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Saint Therese, grant that vocations to the priesthood and the religious life may increase. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Saint Therese, I pray for my special intentions in this novena. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Therese's Prayer for Priest. O Holy Father, may the torrents of love flowing from the sacred wounds of thy divine Son bring forth priests like unto the beloved disciple John, who stood at the foot of the cross. Priest, who as a pledge of thine own most tender love, will lovingly give thy divine Son to the souls of men. May thy priests be faithful guardians of thy church, as John was of Mary, whom he received into his house. Taught by his loving mother, who suffered so much on Calvary, may they display a mother's care and thoughtfulness towards thy children. May they teach souls to enter into close union with thee through Mary, who was the gate of heaven, especially the guardian of the treasures of thy divine heart. Give us peace who are on fire, who are true children of Mary, Priest who will give Jesus to souls with the same tenderness and care with which Mary carried the little child of Bethlehem. Mother of sorrows and of love, out of compassion for thy beloved Son, open in our hearts deep wells of love, so that we may console him and give him a generation of priests, formed in thy school and having all the tender thoughtfulness of thy own spotless love. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Let us include the following intentions in our prayers in this Mass. For the thanksgiving of Peter and Belia, Rojo, and family, Ima San Andres and family, Pasilio Ocampo, MacLeod family, Marcial Celebet, Balinya Perez family, Danny and Ned Carpio, Urario and family, Dudes May and Brace Carpio, Peña Florida, Edwin and Fe Sandoval and family, Anun and Jaisa Marian Anwat, Jessica and Des and family, Lito and Josette de la Cruz, Evelyn Longas and family, Monet Sunga, Virgilio Saragossa and family, Kenneth Lloyd Saragossa, Louie and Beth Pagulayan and family, De Leon Sarasar family, Josephine Estrada, Mary Ann Estrada, Lourdes Bulaong, Laila Sevilla, Faith Marasigan Taiko, Dr. J. Pamador. For the birthday of Dennis Ann Gerardo, Linda Mendoza. Special intentions of Peter and Bella Rojo, Mario Angelo Rojo, Jessica Antes, Edwin and Fe Sandoval and family, Joseph and Vivian San Andres, De Leon Salazar family, Malu Rivera, Mate Adorna, Greenwin Mendoza, Isa Mendoza, Devin Sylvan Carpio Orerio, Rowena Untalan, Joseph and Bibian San Andres, Noel Gaza, Magda Borromeo, Marlene Guillang, Rachel Villamena. For the healing and recovery of Pamelo Rose Rojo, Mario Angelo Rojo, Alexander Ibarra, 
Lois Yuson, Patricia Klimako, Estrella Garcia, Angelina Oxford, Alberto Rivera, Laila Sevilla, Ernilo Ubico, Erlinda Cruz Carpio, Edmond Ray Castro, Julian Ann Santos, Jerry Bill Joy Santos, Lee Santos, Venus Tejero, Rio Dicine, Geraldine Abino, Glenn Rivera Jr., Michelle da Pabros. For the souls of Maria Dolores Lolita, Benjamin, Maria, Wenceslao, Julia, Edita, Arthur, Jose, and Gracio, Innocencia, Cecilio, Vicente, Alejandro Jr., Alejandro Sr., Nicasio Jr., Crispin, Miguel, Francisca, Risalino, Rosenda, Restituto, Josefina, De Jos, Jesse, Dennis, Mary Ann, Apolonia, Miguel, Anastasia, Cesar, Eva, William, Felicissimo, Estelita, Juan, Maria, Salvacion, Rufina, Opet, Rolando, Marcial, Arceli, Ariel, Hill, Alfonso Jr., Alfonso Sr., Estela, Lucing, Tinong, Florentina, Maura, Henner, Micheline, Desilin, Aneseta, Alejandro, Placida, Engracio, Aludia, Vidal, Jose, Maria, Maret, Marieta, Jesse, Judith, Guillermo, Illuminada, Lerio, Ferdinand, Rowena, Marcela, Tomas, Francesca, Nicole, Nancy, Julius, Simeon, Ambrosio, Renato, Patricia, Raimundo, Reinaldo, Wilson, Zoila, Senaida, Beatriz. For all souls in purgatory, the forgotten souls, and all those entered here at the St. Therese Rose Garden, Columbari.
Please all stand for the angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And say conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelled among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Altogether, glory, glory be, be to, to the, the Father, Father and to the Son, and to, and to the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As, As it, it was, was in the beginning, beginning it's now, and ever and shall, shall be, world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Today is Monday of the 26th week in Ordinary Time and also the fifth day of our Novena Mass. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father of the Earn, Novais, Paris Priest of St. Todevico of Aboni, Paris, Mambugan, together with Reverend Father Siadaw Ayan, FMI. Please all stand. <laughs> of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, 
Therefore, as Blessed Mary ever virgin, and all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May you, my God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your mighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. One day, 
when the angels of God came to present themselves before the Lord, Satan also came among them. And the Lord said to Satan, Whence do you come? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From roaming the earth and patrolling it. And the Lord said to Satan, Have you noticed my servant Job, and that there is no one on earth like him, blameless and upright, fearing God and avoiding evil? But Satan answered the Lord and said, Is it not for nothing that Job is God-fearing? Have you not surrounded him and his family and all that he has with your protection? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his livestock are spread over the land. But now you put forth your hand and touch anything that he has, and surely he will blaspheme you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your power. Only do not lay a hand upon his person. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And so one day, while his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in the house of their eldest brother, a messenger came to Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the asses grazing beside them, and the Sabaeans carried them off in a raid. They put their herdsmen to the sword, and I alone had escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another came and said, Lightning has fallen from heaven and struck the sheep and their shepherds and consumed them, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another messenger came and said, The Chaldeans formed three columns, seized the camels, carried them off, and put those tending them to the sword. And I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another came and said, Your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in the house of their eldest brother, when suddenly a great wind came across the desert and smote the four corners of the house. It fell upon the young people, and they are dead. And I alone have escaped to tell you. Then Job began to tear his cloak and cut off his hair. He cast himself prostrate upon the ground and said, Naked I came forth from my mother's womb, and naked shall I go back again. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, Job did not sin, nor did he say anything disrespectful to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You 
to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. An argument arose among the disciples about which of them was the greatest. Jesus realized the intention of their hearts and took a child and placed it by his side and said to them, Whoever receives this child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. For the one who is least among all of you is the one who is the greatest. Then John said in reply, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name. And we tried to prevent him, because he does not follow in our company. Jesus said to him, Do not prevent him, for whoever is not against you is for you. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Father. It is the fifth day of the Novena, and the theme for today is gratitude, correct? We learn from the life of St. Therese to have gratitude, a spirit of gratitude. She wrote to her sister, Celine, saying that that is an important virtue that she strove to cultivate in her life. Whenever she received one grace from God, she would immediately find ways to express her gratitude. And surprisingly, before she was able to complete expressing her gratitude to God, 
she would realize that she already received many more graces. And then she concludes, that's it. As you show gratitude, you receive more. God's grace is abundant to those who have a grateful heart. We should ask ourselves, do we have a spirit of gratitude? Are we able to show gratitude, express thanksgiving? And then next question, what for? Gratitude for what? For our success? For the times that we experience feeling great? For the times that we have advantages? For the times that we have special graces in our lives? It was not for St. Therese. She found reason to be grateful in the small things of daily lives, not in success only, not in greatness only. The liturgy of today helps us to work out this attitude in daily lives. In the first reading from the book of Job, we see there in that story how Job was grateful to God he was upright, and God is happy about his attitude, but then the devil questions it. The devil is considering that Job is good, grateful, because his life is successful, because he is protected, because he has a good life. Of course, we have a good life. We are grateful for that. But then God trusts in the goodness of Job and allows the devil to take everything away from him. What a surprise. When Job lost everything, he's ready to tear down his own garment and proclaim that he came to this life naked from his mother's womb. And he's ready to return to God without anything. From God he received, to God he returns, and he concludes, praise be God. Praise God for all that he received. If now it is gone, it is gone. If now he doesn't have any more, he still praised God because he had it before. From God, we receive everything. To God, everything is returned, and we praise God for all. In the gospel, the apostles, they are in this confusion, trying to have greatness in their lives, striving to know who is the greatest. A normal feeling, a normal human dynamic that admitting or no, we experience in our daily lives, in whatever we are doing, in our profession, in our career, in our studies, in the church, in the liturgy. In whatever we are doing, we want to excel. We want to be acknowledged. And the question that they express to Jesus might be deep down our question. Who is the greatest? Wishing to say, am I? Can you acknowledge me as the greatest? But Jesus gave them a lesson giving us a lesson. The greatest is the one who can humble himself like a child. 
the kingdom of God has another dynamic. It's not about being successful. It's not about controlling things. John was proud to say, we control the situation. There was someone making miracle who was not authorized to do that. We controlled it. We stopped him. And Jesus declares, you should not. If anyone is doing good, it's not a threat. It's not against us. It is for us. The dynamic of the kingdom is to be small, humble as a child as centuries is a model for us a shiny model for the church of one who knew how to be small to be humble and express gratitude and thanksgiving to god today we pray and ask her intercession that she may help us to humble ourselves and to acknowledge that every day, every moment, we have reasons to be grateful, to express our thanksgiving to God. Whether we have success or frustrations, if we are up or down, praise the Lord. From God we receive, to God we return thanksgiving. May the intercession of St. Therese help us to understand this dynamic of the kingdom of heaven. May all stand. Let us pray to the Father to make us worthy of being his beloved children. To which petition we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may become a true instrument in the deepening of the faith of children, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders may show deep concern for the securing a better tomorrow for all children, May children be free from all forms of abuses. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents may teach their children proper values and provide them training and education. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may have a childlike confidence in God, the Father, who cares for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be led back to the house of the Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear the prayers of your children who trust in you. Give us a childlike disposition for your kingdom belongs to the little one. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praise is not nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. By sending down your spirit upon them like the two fold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. 
together with Francis our Pope and Francisco our Bishop and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him in him, O God, my Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with her will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. peace, be peace. Thank you. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be coerced in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death. 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. On September 28, Wednesday, the Novena to Our Lady of Perpetual Help will be at 5.30 p.m., followed by the St. Therese Novena. In celebration of the feast of our patroness, St. Therese of the Child Jesus, on October 1st, the Fiesta Committee of Our Faris is inviting you all to be a part of the festivities. Nine-day Novena Masses until September 30, Novena at 5.30 p.m. and Mass at 6 p.m. with priests from the Diocese of Antipolo. Talk on family, bringing back God's design for the family tonight after the Mass. Here at the Shrine with Reverend Father Joel Hasson, of Family Life Apostolate from the Diocese of Manila as a resource speaker. This is open to all church workers and parishioners, being your spouses and loved ones. October 1st, Saturday, with the following Mass schedule. 6 a.m., 11th anniversary of the dedication of the church, with Reverend Father Dari Giochino as our Mass Presider. 9 a.m., concelebrated with Fiesta Mass with Most Reverend Francisco M. De Leon, B.D., Bishop of Antipolo, with Monsignor Henry Majorito and other concelebrating priests. 6 p.m., Mass with Reverend Father Nante Tolentino, Paris Administrator and Shrine Director of the Immaculate Conception Paris and the International Shrine of Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage, Antipolo. Fiesta envelopes and flyers are available at the church entrance. On from the greeters and collectors, fiesta envelopes may be dropped in the designated box located at the main entrance. Thank you for your donation. For our fifth day novena mass today, we would like to thank the following. Mass and sponsors and offerers, namely the town and country community, extraordinary ministers of the Holy Communion and the Knights of Columbus, headed by Mimi Nitura, Andro Sandoval, and Jerome Blancaflor, respectively. Our Mass Presider, Reverend Father Odair Nubais, and Reverend Father Sia Dow Ayan, Assistant Parish Priest of St. Lodovico Paboni. Thank you again, Father, and welcome to St. Therese. We have blessed you tonight, brothers and sisters. Let us give them the warm applause. Thank you, Father. Please all stand. Thank you very much for having us with you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you.